Hey PK team, it's Sutton here and it's time for your July monthly update. Man, there has been a lot going on, so I hope I cover it all. I know I try to put most of it in the newsletter, so hopefully I will get it all. Um, first and foremost and most important, don't you worry if you missed these at Target because I got enough for all of us. How cute are these? They say last day of school on the back too. I mean, just a necessary purchase all around. So don't you worry, I got those for us. Couldn't find the pink phone. Um, tissue dispenser though. So if anybody finds that, I need one of those stat. Okay. Target dollar spots where it's at. But I know there's lots more important things to share. So I've got some notes down here. I'm going to be referring to those. First of all, thank you so much to those of you who were able to go to the conscious discipline trainings and sign up for those. I know a few of us are still kind of waiting for our approvals. I bugged the lady today um, and told her to make sure that those were approved so that you guys can go. I'm also attending one, I think October 2nd and 3rd. It's specifically for administrators. So I'm hoping that when I get back, then either in October at the late start or November at the late start, that we will be able to share what we learned from Conscious Discipline with um, all the, our other teammates. So kind of be prepared to share, take some good notes, and then we'll get together and I'll um, share what I learned as well as what you learned so that we can present to the rest of our teams. Also, don't forget about our boot camp, which is next week. I'm so excited to finally dig in and really look at wonders and see what um, their lessons look like, um, how much are we going to be able to play, what kinds of things we're going to learn, how does it align with the MELs. So we're going to really be looking at all of that together. I know we've had a lot of side discussions about um, schedules and um, planning and things like that, and I'm really kind of tabling all of those um, collaborative discussions until after our training so that we really have all the information we need so that we can come together and we'll work on what that'll look like for us in the real world when we start in August. Um, um, all right. So also grant money. So all of our grants um, are finalized in June, the application process for them. So I can kind of tell you where we're at with all of those. Um, title money came in first and we did receive a good amount of title money, but it was not as much as we were expecting. So once we realized that we had to change some of our classrooms that were supposedly going to be mixed ages, three, four, and five, to each site having one title classroom and one MOQPK classroom. So we applied for more money through MOQPK once we realized we didn't get enough title funds. So each site will have an MOQPK classroom, which will be kindergarten readiness if you're not familiar, and then a title classroom. And then Heritage, you have two ECSE special education classrooms. So those are three site or three ways we're getting funding for those classrooms, but there is a fourth, which is the kindergarten uh, or the pre-kindergarten startup grant money from DESE. That has not been awarded yet. They will announce on July 15th. We're not worried that we won't get that money. We're just wondering how much we're going to get. That should fund all of the rest of the things that we will need as well as give us kind of a cushion to buy some consumables and other supplies throughout the year. So as soon as we find that out, hopefully as soon as July 15th rolls around, we'll know immediately we'll be able to really start making some big purchases. Heritage, I know you guys have zero furniture right now, but we went through, I talked with um, some of the teachers from Discovery Ridge as well as some of the teachers from Piney Ridge. And I had um, Rachel Myers and Kim Sonderman from Heritage kind of look through what the classroom package comes with um, as, as far as what they ordered for those sites earlier in the year. We made a few changes. So um, I used your suggestions to order a classroom package for you. That should be ready to go. They're hoping and expecting it to be delivered the first week in August. So fingers crossed. Remember, I'm I'm doomsday prepping for August 10th for furniture to be delivered. Um, but the first week in August would be nice too. So as soon as it's ready, I'll let you guys make sure you come in and tell them where it goes. So that's really what we're going to do with our grant money. Um, the playgrounds have been delivered to all of the sites. Some of the playgrounds have already been installed or are starting that process right now, which I know is going to be a great change from what you guys had last year. So that's thrilling too. I just love it. Um, and then finally, the last thing I wanted to share with you is um, our what we're going to have a team builder on August the 8th. I would love for you to be able to make it. If not, not a big deal. You're not going to miss anything. We're really just going to get to know each other um, and spend some time together because that's going to be um, really important as we're at um, three different sites for the upcoming school year. So there is a survey in the newsletter today to let me know your availability on August the 8th, but hopefully you guys can join us. What we're really going to do is, like I said, just get to know each other, but I'm also going to share some of my expectations um, for the year for our team, but don't worry, I'll share those again um, when we're at our back to school meetings in August. 
Okay. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to share is there is a calendar update. Um, you'll learn more about this in the newsletter, but we will not be having students on late start days or early release days this year. Uh, we will use those times for staff meetings, professional development, and collaboration. So those will be done instead of site-based. Those will be done all together as early childhood satellite team. So that's very exciting. And then I think the final um, update, which kind of goes back to the furniture um, ordering, is our class sizes. Right now we're all sitting, we're all very different, and I haven't evened the classes out yet. I have to be very careful with that because of where the grant money is coming from. In each class, I have to make sure that the right students get in the right classroom according to the grant requirements or the funding requirements. Um, but right now we're at about an average of 16 to 18 students per class. There are a few classrooms um, at Discovery Ridge you guys are pushing like 18, 19, 20, but we're hoping to have enough money to open that third class at Discovery Ridge. So all of that is up in the air right now. We're still enrolling kids every single day, um, but back to the furniture. I know Piney and Discovery, you guys were outfitted for 15 students last year. We're going to be ordering you enough to cover, um, we're going to just order enough for 20 students at every site just to be safe. Right now we're not at 20 anywhere, but Discovery Ridge, and we're hoping to kind of shift that to that third classroom. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, we still don't know how to enroll because Focus just rolled out. So our parents haven't officially enrolled yet, which is why you don't have access to your classrooms and things like that. All of that will be coming soon. Most likely I'll do another email for you guys mid-July or late July. Um, so you'll probably have two this month just because so much is changing so quickly, but I wanted to make sure I got you as much information as I could um, in this newsletter. Some of it's in draft form too, so just keep that in mind that it could be changing, but I just wanted to make sure I was transparent with you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. I hope you're enjoying your last few pool days, family time, and just napping because, man, you don't, we don't get to do that really um, in the school year starts. So, Enjoy your last few days of summer. Take some time for yourself. And I will hopefully see you at either our boot camp or our team builder or back in school in August. See you guys.